Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is the next one for our love connection, love advice for Aquarius. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. What can I get for Aquarius, please? What is the message for Aquarius sign for the next 24 hours? Love connection, love energy advice, okay? Before I start, guys, I would like to thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much for um, your support, for everything that you do in my channel. Thank you. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, um, check out the description box below. You'll find the details of my Instagram account. Follow me there, please. Check out my online store, The Scent and Manifestation Collection. It is available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So just type your manifest manifestation question and I will come back to you. And once we send it out, um, we will send you a digital instruction on how to activate the item and how to use this and exclusive access to our meditation and affirmation music, okay? So this is for you. Let's start your reading. All right, okay. So what is the message for Aquarius, friends? The next 24 hours, love connection, love advice for you, all right? I feel like I need to clarify something, so I'll get my cards ready. I'll shuffle it while I'll talk. Um, okay, first card here, you've got the high priestess in reverse. This is your energy. So the next 24 hours this weekend, I feel like um, you are out of sync, okay? You're out of sync, out of touch. You are not really in alignment of what you want to happen in the relationship in the connection it's more of high priestess you you had enough for some of you <laughs> um you're not listening to your intuition your emotion is not balanced your logical side is not balanced you know your your heart space and your mind space it's not agreeing and then your intuition is also weak you could not there's some some sort of imbalance um coming your way you're so focused into a I'm really feeling like this this high priestess, you're so focused into a result. You're so focused in that ideal result, in that situation connected to love, uh, connected to a person, that you're actually um, hearing the word. You are actually not enjoying the moment. You're not really looking. You're too advanced for some of you, high priest. You're too advanced. You're so conscious and so advanced of the future where actually the answer is now. Because the your person's energy is the eight of wands. The eight of wands speaks about communication. The eight of wands. This is a fast moving messages. This is travel. So you're so advanced of thinking of a certain outcome, a certain um, expectation, and yet you are um, undermining that to make it happen is to look at the situation now. All right, the answer is now. I'm getting that word. It wants, I see you and your person communicating. I see you and your person still communicating, but you don't like the communication for some of you. Um, eight of wands, let me see. For some of you, this is long distance, your long distance, or your person, if if you haven't received, if you haven't received a phone call, a text, a reply, a respond from your person, they have so much responsibility. Um the scope of their responsibility, it's a lot. For some of you, they're traveling. For some of you, the weather is not good around where your person is located. It's long distance. For some of you, I'm seeing water and a lot of raindrops or rain. The weather is intermittent. It makes the connection intermittent. And there's a lot of, you know, this eight of wands. If it's if it's not the energy of, pers of your person towards it. Because eight of wands, this is communication. And it's incoming. So your person have a lot of... You know, they're like slump with communication, slump of something busy. If this is, um, because I felt like this is outside. So for some of you, if you're upset, if you have doubt about your person, why they could not call you or text you, they've got a lot going in their plate. Um, the weather also is something to do. For some of you, they try to call and text, text and text, but you probably block them. Um, yeah, I'm really feeling like, you are misaligned, uh, but I see them wanting to communicate with you. Let's look at the Eight of Wands, because um, that's the initial initial vibes. Eight of Wands. I would like to communicate with Aquarius, but I'm outside. It out. It is out of range. Out of 
out of sync like wi-fi issues the weather is bad it's also long distance when when the time that they're so upbeat and they have energy when the time that they're not busy you're sleeping something like that so something is out of sync between the two of you because I, I i really like the eight of wands in the energy of your person this is willingness to communicate this is so this is a good energy okay this this two cards flew out the full card so um the advice for you is if you have the situation where page of cups you are not receiving a call a text or you're not receiving the affection or the attention that you want from your person you take it easy don't take it too seriously just because of one text that didn't happen or a call that didn't happen um take it easy you know enjoy your moment enjoy your time if they're not available put your energy to your the, the time to yourself because i really feel like it's something to do with i don't know i felt like it's wi-fi connection or they have so much in their plate or check as well the weather and uh, be considerate because you're expecting an outcome that is not attainable your advice to focus now don't be foolish like look at the full card it's the ambition is so high like don't be foolish don't be don't you know check you know, have a pulse check about what you want and what you expect because you're living so much in the future you need to enjoy now if you haven't communicated i see this person releasing themselves from some sort of business they will they will have a time a point a point of time this october will they be able to release themselves from being pre preoccupied or occupied i see them calling or texting you so be uh, be be careful of what you say what you think about them be careful about your thoughts against your person because you're manifesting it i see them coming back around to be honest with you the vibe of your person is good your vibe it's it's not it's a bit pessimistic it's a bit down okay then the next reading you've got the four of swords in reverse yeah another worry i felt like this is <laughs> this is connected because this is your energy energy four of swords you could not sleep you have stress you have an anxiety you're wanting something you you have put a specific requirement they need to reply they need to respond this is this is what needs to happen you're overthinking you're creating your own stress look at your person's energy eight of cups again okay we're in synchronized eight of wands i'm so busy eight of cups i shall come back when i have the energy they're preoccupied so yeah this this two this four cards in here the message is blend you know your person they will come back when they're not busy and expect them a comeback. Expect a comeback, a huge communication. So while your person is not available, you should be caution. You should ca caution the way you think of them. Listen to your intuition. You know, also try to put some benefit of the doubt um, that, oh, maybe they're busy or maybe there's the Wi-Fi. Um, give as much buffer to your person because I see them coming back. So be careful of what you say. Be careful on your, I don't know, investigation. Be, care be careful on how you how you talk to them because you might push them away. They need support right now, okay? They need some sort of welcoming. Because the minute they're, f they're done with this, you know, Eight of Wands, I'm done with being so busy. Eight of Cups, they're so excited. They're so thirsty to come back and connect with you and tell you all the stories that, you know, you were intended to know. Or this is an emotional connection, the Eight of Cups. So they're, they're excited to communicate and connect with you in an emotional level. And that's special. It's not every day that we get connected. They're, they're, this person is at ease to connect with. They don't get this connection with somebody else, with anybody else. That's why they come, they're coming back to you. It's more of try to realign. You will in sync. That's what I get in here, this four card. You will be in sync. The, 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 you know, the energy I get is that try to counter your pessimism your feeling down your worriness your anxiety with an optimism that's why full card you know take a breath relax this one it looks like it's having yoga so you put your mental and emotional energy to yourself while you wait for your person to you know to get ready all right okay so the next reading you've got the, the nine of wands be open queen of swords be open with for some of you, I'm hearing the word, your person will communicate to you, your person will come back to you. Be open that they have a mistake, they have an error, and so you are. Be open for the fact that there's something imperfect about you and your person. But because if you accept that they're not perfect, they're probably busy, they're somewhere else, as much as 
you know, as much as you would like to find a reason or critic that, that really happens, you know, because try to observe yourself, Aquarius, you would come to a point that, you know, the closest friends, the, the closest friends or family you have, sometimes you don't reply as quality as you are to them, you know, two weeks or three days or a month ago. So things happen like Queen of Swords. Sometimes our loved ones does not pay attention with it. And it is, you know, there is a lot of factor that is affecting why people, the quality goes low or they ghosted you or they, they go quiet. So be open to that. And that is your, that is your mission is to understand why there was a slow process of replying, responding, what's really going on. So instead of, I don't know, procrastination or instead of overthinking, be open that maybe they are busy, like benefit of the doubt, okay? I see this person, this is like a one flow of breathing. Um, I see them, I see them really, you've got a lot of reoccurring energy in here, nine, like reoccurring number 9988. So there is a pattern on why this person is behaving this way or there is a pattern on why your connection or the majority of Aquarius friends that would be watching this video, there is a reason behind, there's a reasoning behind why this is happening between you and your person. And investigate that because you will find the answer. Your high priestess is in reverse, so listen to your intuition. Backtrack, I'm hearing the word backtrack. You know, maybe it's, a, it's you know, October, November, December, they're in sales, so they're busy or traveling. Something to do with consider small factor outside of your relationship or connection can affect the mood, the emotional connectivity, the, the mental connectivity of people. So, you know, get that into consideration. You've got here the Page of Pentacles, the last reading, Page of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. So for some of you, for some of you guys, if you block someone, they try to call you or text you and you will never know what the message is because you block them. Okay, so nine of swords, your person is overthinking, what did I do with Aquarius? Have I pissed her off? Have I pissed him off? So what did I do? They're overthinking. Um, they're thinking about you time to time, why you haven't replied, why you haven't responded, or why you have not follow up with them. So someone is, if you feel like your person is worried, if you feel like your person is thinking about you all the time, um, it's because they probably sent you, but you send you a message, but you block them. Okay, for some of you, this is, okay, this is very specific. If your person has been missing in action on you yourself as well, you haven't communicated with each other nine days, nine weeks, nine months, this person is now in like overdue. Like they're kind of thinking, oh my God, I lost Aquarius. I've lost the interest of Aquarius towards me. Okay, nine, 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 eight, eight. All right. I really feel like this reading Aquarius, you're bound, excuse me, and I hiccup. So it means I'm so thirsty and your person yourself is thir thirsty for a catch-up. You're bound to communicate. So do not block them. You know, don't overthink. Ask, you know, query before you assume or before you conclude. All right? So, because I really feel like, because this is Nine of Swords. It's been an ups and down. Uh, August month, it's pretty okay, but intense. And then for September month, there's a lot of blockages. October month, your person aims to, you know, to talk, to, to, to talk it out. But there's a lot of, you create barrier. For some of you, you, deleted them or you remove their number. And then when you try to follow up, you could not find their number. So yeah, there is, it's, it's a little bit shaky, but I really feel like, you know, your person is trying to find the way to you're due to talk. I'm really hearing that. You're um, you're due to go back on track this October. So, you know, act like an adult. If you need to talk, just say it. No call or text. I really feel like for some of you, you block them. Honesty. All right. Those who block, who you block, they're looking for you now. All right. And um, so this is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon again. And you have a restful, relaxing weekend. All right. Bye bye.